All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So I just popped over to DBZ space to check a few things, right? And I was met with a very, very nice surprise. I mean, you guys see it on the screen. And honestly, the only thing I can think of to say about this right now is about damn time, man. I mean, I feel like Global should have received these stages probably a month ago, you know, when things were super, super dry, when there was literally nothing for us global players to do, and people were bored to tears. Some people even told me they were quitting because they just had no content, right? And that would have been the perfect time. That would have been the perfect time to release these new stages, give us some content to grind, give us new LR to play with, and also just like something to work at, right? But instead, they're giving it to us now, and I'm very happy about it. I just feel like, you know, it was a missed opportunity to like not release it during the prelude or maybe even before that, but it is what it is. I'm happy. I'm excited. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. Okay, so it says new stages of extremely difficulty. Wait, what? No, new stages of extreme difficulty coming soon. Uh, new stages of the extremely challenging event Super Battle Road are about to arrive. The exchange limit of certain items exchangeable with the treasure item. Victory's Light, which is that little trophy thing, will also be increased. On top of that, a new LR character can be recruited through the newly added special missions after the new stages become available. So it's going to be stages, I believe, 31 to 40 of Super Battle Road, 10 new category Super Battle Road stages. And the new LR you can get is this Tech, LR, Goku, and Kid Gohan. And of course, we'll go over their details in a second. But uh, yeah, what else does it say here? Okay, from the or form the strongest teams to face the upcoming trial. And there's also going to be a preparation period, which is today, the 20th, until the 24th, Christmas Eve. And then I'm assuming on the 25th, Christmas, we'll be getting the new stages, a nice little, you know, Christmas present for uh, us global players from Bandai. And it's awesome, man. I mean, I love Super Battle Road. I know not everybody is the biggest fan of it. And it's mainly because it is a very challenging event, so some people can't beat it, and that's why I don't like it. But if you think about it from the perspective of people like me, you know, like end game players or people who have been playing for a very long time, um, this is the kind of stuff that we kind of live for at this point, right? Because like most events that come out, like story events, no kind of events, you can basically beat them with your eyes closed, right? Like you can literally be like half asleep and beat those. But for Super Bad Road and some of these other challenging events, like um, you know, Infinite Dragon Ball History, I mean, they're not as bad anymore, but still somewhat of a challenge sometimes, right? Um, you have to actually think a little bit, you have to actually strategize a little bit and build specific teams with like certain characters that do certain things like a tank, a healer, a dodger, so on and so forth. And uh, I like that, you know, I like the fact that we're forced to actually strategize a little bit. So I'm excited for these 10 new stages, I'm of course gonna be streaming them making some videos, so definitely stay tuned for that. And uh, why don't we pop over to the Dokkan Wiki now and take a look at these stages, see what categories they are, and also what kind of rewards we can expect when we clear the stages. Okay, so uh, yeah, it is stages 31 to 40, and the first stage is gonna be for representatives of Universe 7, and it's gonna be three fights per stage, just like all of the other categories Super Bad Road stages to this point. So yeah, number one, representatives of Universe 7, and those are going to be the fights. And then for uh, the second level, it's going to be Wicked Bloodline with these fights. And then the next one's going to be uh, Time Travelers, and then Universe 6, and then Movie Heroes, Goku's Family, Vegeta's Family, Youth, Super Saiyans, and then Final Trump Card. Okay, so 10 stages in total. Each time we beat a stage, we get one of these Victory's Light items, as well as 5 Dragon Stones. So if you're able to actually beat all 10 stages, it's going to be 10 of these items, as well as 50 Dragon Stones in total. And in terms of how to get the LR, you get one copy, and you clear any stage 20 times. So stage 31 to 40, of course. 20 times in total, you get one copy. If you clear stages 31, 33, 35, 37, and 39 specifically, you get one more copy. If you beat 32, 34, 36, 38, and 40, you get another copy, so that's three copies in total. And then, once you clear all the stages, you get your final two copies to rainbow the LR. Now, I can't stress this enough. Don't use the copies. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious, but just in case, you know, if you're new, don't use the copies of the Goku and Gohan 
to feed for super attack, okay? Use Kai's. I know it's gonna be a lot of Kai's. It's gonna be 19 Kai's in total, but uh, it'll be worth it. Okay, it'll be worth it. Wait, no, there's... I'm trying to think. There's no farmable version of these guys, right? I don't think so. Yeah, so use the Kai's, but don't use the dupes, because if you use the dupes, you'll never be able to rainbow them. So just keep that in mind. And uh, what else is there to see? Oh, in terms of the Victory Slight Shop, it's just going to be Kai's as well as Hercule Statues. Now, I don't recommend anybody to buy the Hercule Statues, even though it's a lot of Zenny for each of these. Um, the Kai's are going to be much more useful, you know, uh, overall. So use your Victory Slight for the Kai's. And what else? Uh, rewards. You can get these guys five times, get five stones. Oh, actually, you also get, I forgot, you get one more, one stone for... Um, you know, each time you clear a stage the first time, right? So you actually get a total of 60 stones, right? 10 for the clears as well as uh, 50 from the mission. So 60 stones in total from these 10 new stages. And I believe that is pretty much it. Okay, so once again, it's Final Trump Card, Super Saiyans, Youth, Vegeta's Family, Goku's Family, Movie Heroes, Universe 6, Time Travelers, Wicked Bloodline, and Representatives of universe 7 now let's pop over to the LR now to see what they do so the unit is called father and sons day off Goku and Gohan theater skill is Goku's family category key plus 4 HP attack and defense plus 120% 12 key leave it to dad causes colossal damage and seal super attack and 18 key is Kamehameha and Masenko which raises defense and causes mega colossal damage now of course this can be stacked infinitely so it's 30% for 99 turns each time you use the 18 key super and then the passive is defense plus 59 percent attack plus 59 percent when performing a super attack plus an additional attack plus 58 percent if it is an ultra super attack and then p plus 5 and recovers 8 percent hp at the end of the turn as the third attacker in a turn so if you guys are curious about why you know you got the 59 percent and the 58 percent and why these numbers are so common in cards that specifically involve Goku and Gohan is because apparently the uh, characters, the Japanese characters for 5 and 9 and 5 and 8 can be pronounced as Goku and Gohan respectively. Okay, so that's why with Goku and Gohan cards, you see 58 and 59 a lot because it's kind of like um, a pun, if you will, right? Or just like a little fun little Easter egg that they have in these cards. So, uh, yeah, that's the passive. Uh, the links are all in the family. Z Fighters, Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Kamehameha, Attack and Speed, and Legendary Power. And categories are Joint Forces, Goku's Family, and Kamehameha. And their max stats at Rainbow Status is 18,148 HP, 18,402 attack, and 12,024 defense. And I think that pretty much covers this card. Um, yeah, overall, a very solid free-to-play unit. I don't think they're, like, amazing. You know what? No, I take that back. They're very, very good. They're very, very good. Not, like, the best free-to-play LR in the game, but uh, certainly up there. They can do some pretty good damage. And also, they have that defensive capability because they raise defense with every um, Ultra Super. And they also can heal you as the third attacker in a turn. So you can kind of use them... You know, differently, differently depending on the event. If you want them to, you know, be more of a healer and also get their super off more easily, like get their 18 key super off more easily, then you can put them as the third attacker. Um, if you want to keep them, you know, in the main rotation as like uh, more of your, you know, regular attacker, you can do that too. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That that is the card. I I can't wait to get them. I love this art, man. I think it's super, super. What's the word? Uh, wholesome. It's a very wholesome card art for sure. And that's it, guys. 10 new stages on the way. Stay tuned for your boy's stream on Christmas. We're going to celebrate Christmas with uh, some Super Battle Road, some Dokkan. I mean, there's not really anything else we got going on anyways, right? I mean, yeah, like for my area, like everything's closed. So, I mean, it's Christmas anyway, so it's going to be closed. So, yeah, yeah, it's going to be a uh, Dokkan themed Christmas this year. Can't wait to see you guys there. Stay tuned for the, uh, what do you call it, for the scheduled stream. Make sure to pop in if you guys have a chance. If not, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is it. <laughs> that is the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are excited for stages 41, or sorry, 31 to 40 coming to global 
on Christmas once again. And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.